Hey guys, uh, yeah, we have another PS4 power supply. It's been a while. I've actually have made a video about this uh, PS4 power supply, so I thought this case will be a little bit interesting. So, um, so far, what I just noticed was uh, this guy here yeah, blew up. So, yeah, let's, see, let's get on to it. So, number one, we have an issue there. There's some type of explosion. Something happened. So, uh, the usual suspect, it's dead. We have nothing there. And then we'll move on to here. For some reason, we're good over here. Uh, let's flip it. Uh, okay, there's this fuse here in the middle. So that's okay. Um, okay, so there was an explosion on this side. So since there was an explosion on this side, let's see uh, if the rectifier survived this. Okay, it looks like we have a short here. Okay, so uh, what else? Okay, so the usual check I usually do when working on power supplies uh, I need to check the uh, the resistance yeah okay, let's see if we're able to see there I need to check to look at the resistance here okay so if you get in my 10 ohms okay over here we're good uh, yeah we're getting about nine that which is okay okay that's a diode usually won't get nothing there okay so we come over here uh, okay, so this is not good. So we're getting up at 0 0.45, should be about 9 point something. So, okay, that's that. Um, let's see. Okay, let's look at the diode here. The diode is okay. Okay, it looks like okay. Should be fine. This one, yeah, also read on both sides. That's normal on that side there. So, I won't really bother much here because I think everything should be okay. Oh, also the other guy here. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay, so um, we need to remove this guy here. Let's look at the uh, rectifier. Let's just lift at least one leg and just see if the short remains onto the rectifier or what. Just to confirm where the short is coming from. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, I just see there. Hello. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jesus, this guy. Okay, so when you look here, uh, we don't have a short no more. We touch here, we have a short. So the rectifier is okay. But we have a short somewhere. Okay, so the rectifier is fine. Something is shorting somewhere. Um, So we can pull this back and solder this guy here yeah, back. Okay, let's remove this uh, this guy over here. Off. Uh, are we still shorting? Let's see. Okay, so uh, by just removing that, the short is gone. Okay, so short number one is gone. So this guy here was a culprit. 
um what else do we need to remove this fuse Good. Um, okay, why are we close to shorting over here? Let's see if something changes. Um, close the reading. We are getting about. Um, okay, let's go ahead and I zoom in. Okay, zoom out. Okay. So we have more angles there. Okay, uh, let's see. Are we still going to get the same reading we were getting before? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, the resistance here is very low. So let's uh, see. Okay, let's remove this guy here. You can always put it back. It's no big deal. Uh, which one is it now? Uh, it's this guy on the corner. That's the one, no? Yeah. Okay. You don't really have to remove this whole thing. Let me see. Yeah, you don't have to remove the whole thing, but. Why not? Okay, so my guy here is off. Uh, let's just see what we're reading now. Um, should be getting about 10 ohms. Yep, so this guy was definitely going. Um, if you're able to see there, part number. So 24 and 60 M2. Some part is B as well. Mm. Okay, so we need to get another guy there. And also, I'll show you one thing. Oh, uh, let me zoom out. Okay. Let me zoom out there. Zoom in over here where we were. Okay. Okay, the other thing is, um, so sometimes when you, you're having troubles with this power supply, let's just say this uh, thing, uh, this MOSFET here is the one that's faulty. So this MOSFET here is linked to this chip over here. So if you're having some trouble, you put another one and then blows again, you might have to replace this chip over here. As you can see there, the one leg comes here and the other leg should be this guy here. I see, so this chip here deals with this guy over here. Okay, and what's the name of it? Uh, yeah, 1608B. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we got our we'll cut out, so we need the uh, one, two, three, and then we should be good. So let me pause and get a power supply with all that, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I got a stuff here, so we've got a fuse, 5 amps, this guy over here, and the MOSFET. So let's start replacing. Okay, that's the fuse there. This guy here is gonna go in here. Okay, 
here goes there yeah, i think there's the good one <laughs> hopefully i didn't mix this one up let's just see but it's not the wrong one uh, i'll put the wrong one and disorder it again okay there's some type of resistance there so it should be good i think it's the right one Those are solid. Not even solid, put in place. Okay, let's solder here. Oh, let's start over here. Where are we? That's it, solid. These two guys, two legs, boom. Okay, looks good. Um, yep, this guy here. Uh, can you guys see there what I'm doing? Yep, we missed out already. Okay, so all three are sorted in place. Just zoomed in a little bit too much. Can't see anything there. Um, yep. Okay. Um, let's test again, just to see. Yeah, I still need to look it this way, yeah. So, uh, we are getting a short here. We're getting some type of reading. Okay, cool. Uh, well, okay, that's the new fuse. Well, <laughs> a new second end fuse. Uh, over here, we shall be getting 10 ohms. Yeah, so that's okay there. Uh, I need to put uh, I need to put this guy here for cooling. Okay, let's just see what my fingers will do. I know. Let's do that. Okay, other guy there is back in place. So, um, just a tiny bit of ISO. If this thing works, I need to put it into a buff. <laughs> so that's so. There was one roach was running around there. So maybe the roach is the culprit. I don't know. Not sure as all. These roaches are keeping us in business. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Let's see, do I have a PSO to test this thing here? Uh, as you can see there, they were definitely near. Let's just see if I found a PSO here for testing. Uh, PSO. This is uh, four or five pins. There's five pins. Four pin cages, hang on. Okay, I got one PS4 here. Yeah. There's the bottom casing. The top casing. Mm. 
Okay. That's it. Okay, cool. We have power, no explosion. Is the fan going to spin? Okay, we have standby. Let's see. There we go. So, we have a working PS4 power supply. Hopefully, it was educative enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a working PS4 power supply there. I'll just put this here for now. I'll leave it running for a while. 